good morning everyone it is friday and it's 9 30 i'm actually up and dressed because i'm about to go gas up the car or the bank you guys probably think we're crazy we probably are but whatever because we can't go on a huge vacation like we really want this year because this year was supposed to be a cruise and we're not able to do that because of you know what so we are taking just little trips on the weekend here and there and this weekend so we need a redo first of all yes i do wish i could have spent more time with edna and melissa okay but i understand but we need a redo of the hotel we were in we felt gypped we felt that we didn't get what we should have got and yes it was my fault for trying to save some money next time i'll think twice but anyway we are going to southern california we're staying at the hotel that etna stayed in but that's not the only reason we are going back to hollywood because the tour we did was a two-hour tour of the stars homes and then there's a four-hour tour that doesn't include the homes because it's on a double-decker bus and if you guys ever been in LA, you know the Hollywood Hills, Mulholland Drive and all that, you know, it's going up the mountain and it zigzags. So this four hour tour goes like in the rich area, Rodeo Drive and Bel Air and all that, but it also goes to the beach and other places. So not only do we wanna do that, we just wanna get away again, you know? So we're gonna do that today and I told Savannah, because you guys know how she is trying to go vegan, and I always tease her like, yeah, because I do that air quotes because she's not completely vegan yet. She is trying to ease her body into it. Can't be bad for you. A lot of people are vegans, and I don't know, maybe a quick change. If you guys are vegans out there, let me know, because I, I don't know if she like completely switched over, if that will affect anything in the body. I don't know. Everything is plant-based, so it can't, it's not bad for you, but when we are somewhere, she always looking for a vegan menu or something that's vegan, and you guys, so I was today years old <laughs> when I found out, okay, I know people that are vegetarians just don't eat meat. And sometimes they'll, depending on what type of vegetarian they are, I've seen them eat seafood or they'll have eggs, stuff like that. Vegetarians aren't that way. I knew they didn't eat meat, but I thought that they eat eggs and I thought that they drink milk. But I was talking to Savannah and she was telling me, she was like, mom, a true vegan would be offended over that. I'm like, oh, excuse me. And so she's trying to become not only a vegan, but dairy free. So vegan, if it had a parent, a heartbeat, then, you know, she won't eat it. And I told her, I said, okay, well, milk comes from a cow, but any animal products, she does not want to eat or drink or anything like that. Yeah. So you guys. I told her that this weekend I will try to go vegan with her for the weekend. I'm not turning into a vegan, trust me you guys, I'm not. I love meat, I love seafood, I love eggs, I love sausages, anyway you get the point right? But I will support her and stuff like that like I told you guys before. I told her this weekend I said I will be a vegan for the whole weekend a vegan now I do air quotes for me because I'm not a true vegan I'm just gonna be eating vegan meals and vegan type food for the whole weekend so yeah you guys wish me luck on that and yeah so I as I'm digging into it a little bit more and she's telling me more about you know veganism if that's what you call it I don't know just like with anything that you do as far as a diet you have to watch what you eat right so she's reading the back of everything just to make sure there's no milk products in it or stuff like that and we had soup the other day and so I was thinking about it I'm like wait a minute the majority of soups unless you specifically ask for something else the majority of soups are from a chicken base like the broth or some kind of meat <laughs> base and she was like wow I didn't think about that so then the next time we got soup from a restaurant firehouse 
she got vegetable broth and she said it was really good so I started thinking about stuff like that I'm like wow so if you are a true vegan and don't want any animal products to touch your lips to digest then you will have to read the back of everything and make sure it has no dairy in it or no kind of meat flavored in it and yeah even butter she wasn't really a fan of cheese she got some vegan butter last night and i tasted it tastes like butter so that's no big deal and yeah so i will take you guys along with that journey as well and i will try to vlog everything that i eat that way you guys can see that i am sticking to the vegan diet and if i don't get a chance to vlog everything i'll at least tell you guys what i've eaten for that day or something like that so yeah all right so i finished girlfriends i don't know if i told you guys that i finished girlfriends on netflix and you know how when you finish a show you're liking that oh my god what do i watch now there are so many things on right now that I have on my list to watch that I just jumped from Girlfriends to watching, what's that show? Wentworth. It's kind of like Orange is the New Black, but it's an Australian show. So the eighth season is on there and I'm watching that. So, and the Parkers are on Netflix now, a show also that I used to watch years ago that I'd never seen every single episode. So I will be watching that as well. And I think, I'm not sure, let me go to Netflix. I think I seen that the second, those of you that like scary movies and scary shows, The Hunting of Bly Manor, it's coming October 9th. So I knew I seen something about it, but it's not on yet. But yeah, you guys know I like scary movies and stuff like that, so. Okay, you guys, so I'm about to have cereal with almond milk, and as you can see, it's dairy free gluten-free and soy-free but I'm just looking at the dairy-free so that is going to be my breakfast on my weekend of being a vegan you guys y'all guess where I am have y'all noticed that every time before we take a trip somewhere even if it is a weekend trip we have to get the car washed I don't know it's like a habit to start the trip with a clean car so I'm in the line for Starbucks and I already looked up what I can order as far as vegan coffee vegan coffee something that's vegan friendly hi welcome to Starbucks how are you doing today I'm good what can I get started for you can nitro cold brew with almond milk mocha syrup and no sweet cream that will be all Alright you guys, trying to stay true to being a vegan, not a vegan, but y'all know what I mean. Okay, so I got a grande, I wanted to vlog myself drinking it just so y'all could see my reaction. Y'all know I like the fufu coffees, the kind that has a lot of sugar and this really doesn't, so. It's actually not bad. It tastes like coffee. Nothing fantastic about it, of course, because it's not like the stuff I usually get, but not bad. Okay, I can't complain. So we made it, and y'all, much nicer than where we were. So we are at the Embassy Suites, so little living room area. That's the door right there. And we're on the sixth floor and nice mirror right here um, refrigerator there's a microwave bathroom right here full shower really nice and then in here and Cheyenne is on FaceTime with Savannah say hi Cheyenne hello hello and then little seating area right here but yeah that's it and then of course the closet so 
Yeah. yeah. It's so nice. It is so nice. Did you see, did they show? So you guys, we are actually next door. Everything is just flipped around. So there was glass on the floor and Savannah stepped on it and they gave us another room because if there are shards of glass on it, we're not able to see. And they comped us the parking so I didn't have to pay for parking. So we're just gonna circle around the hotel. Savannah is scared of heights. We are on the sixth floor. Are you doing a TikTok? No. <laughs> Savannah is so <laughs> Y'all, we are like kids, I know. Oh. <laughs> 14. 14. Oh my goodness. Look how far down it is. We're on the 14th floor, you guys. Wow. Okay, I want to walk up here. Okay. I know. We're going Should to I the. Go right here. Do it. Mm -hmm. We're going to the first floor. And Savannah's a little scared. Keep looking. <gasps> okay, it's kind of fun. <laughs> well, literally one week ago, we were sitting right there <laughs> and taking pictures and laughing and joking and everything. So, back to the fish. Oh, the fish. My yeah. Friends. Them. You can't feed them because they're on a special diet. Don't feed them. Not that we have food to feed them. But it's nice. The turtles in there? It yeah. is. They're swimming. You guys see the turtles? It's I'm like right fly. there. Yeah, right there. Where's the other one? It's like over there. Oh, wait, no, that's a rock. No, okay, but so that's a turtle. There's a turtle in there. There's a turtle next to the rock. Okay. There's two turtles. Oh, I see it now. No, really, Savannah? I want to really? pet them. You can't pet a fish. It's not a tiger. It's a lion. There's a lion up there, oh, and I don't know how often, but it will growl and wave its paw or whatever. Oh, there's one fish over here. Oh, it's lonely. It is lonely. Oh, there's one over there, too. Is it alive? Uh, I hope so. Oh, yes, yeah. it's alive. Here's a close-up of the lion. And I'm sure... What? A fish. I'm scared. It's not moving. It's kind of like turned on the side. Oh no, please. I don't know. No, of course the restaurants are closed right now. And even during the day it's closed. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, back to the room we go. Ow! <laughs> Did you hit your forehead? <laughs> this is like a ride. Guys, it goes over. Thank you.